off. We're back in the garage. We're, we're trying to get to back to work on the hatch. And I started to film a video of me showing where we were gonna mount the battery, but uh, it kind of snowballed out of control. Kind of play catch up. We went to the junkyard, pulled out a couple things off of a car. We got a couple parts. Um, namely, we bought a battery tray. I did have an aluminum housing one to try and mount my uh, XS Power S680 uh, somewhere else on the car, but it didn't really work. We just put the battery back in the stock location. Uh, we're not gonna have a fuse box. So we will still have room to put the wiring through the hole. If not, that's what hole saws are for. So. We're gonna go ahead and start working on the next project, which is our core support. We cut the core support out of the car a couple episodes ago. Because of that, we don't have any reference of where they put the headlights. When we got the battery tray, I cut out a straight core support from an EG. So I cut around the part where it mounts to the fender. So we still have the fender tabs. What we're going to do at that point is use the pickup points for everything. We're gonna make a tab based on those points. So for that, the headlights, and the um, the front bumper and we're going to start to build like a tube piece over it and we're going to do all that when we're done all we will have is holes where those normal screw holes are we would get nuts to match and we'll weld them in so we're going to build our own bar and try to get it all set up and then when we get a radiator we'll build the lower end and we'll make it all match so we're going to try and do all that in this episode this is a big one for me um i've never done anything like this before but this is the way I see how to do it, and we're gonna go for it. So, we're gonna end up making some tabs out of this. Uh, this is just some flat bar metal that I got from, I think, uh, uh, Home Depot. This will work just fine. We're just gonna cut thin strips. We're gonna mark them every so often, uh, figure out how much, how big of a strip we need. And uh, we're gonna just cut a bunch of these little things. We're gonna drill some holes in them, round them off, and make tabs. All right, so after some amount of time of bending, we come up with this piece. And because our rods are not long enough, we just cut it right in the middle. And we are going to weld it into position for now. And then we'll come back, rebend this, add tabs, and continue the other side. So we're back for day two. Uh, we left off making this guy and we just kind of made some tabs and cruised through this side of it pretty pretty quickly. Um, this side obviously needs a little bit of something right here to come down still. We might unbolt it and just try and put it in there and bend it. Before we do that I do want to get this tab cut, welded on and all that. So we're going to do that first. And then once this side's done, we're going to make another one and we're going to try and join them right here. Let's go ahead and make another tab for this uh, headlight over here and then uh, we'll go from there. <laughs> <laughs>
after spending some time bending this side, I kind of noodled the, uh, the midsection here. By noodled, I mean I kind of like got the bends wrong. This top section was doing really nice, um, but this this weird like little jog, cause the way it works is it comes down right here, jogs down right here through this little hole because it's the lowest spot. Kind of jogs down, but right here it takes like a hard dive and then a 90 here. It's just two, two gnarly bends real close. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna do this backwards. I got one more piece of rod uh, back there. We're gonna go from this side over, up, out, kind of overshoot, do a little bend, and then hopefully when I get down there, I'll be a lot closer. Let's just keep going. All right, after enough time, you get something something like this. Um, I'm missing my tabs for the headlight right there. This one is not long enough, and it doesn't quite perfectly match this other side, but for what we're doing, this is gonna be perfectly fine. Um, so we're gonna make some new tabs. We're gonna get these, we're gonna tack these in first just to hold the bar. Try and weld this a little bit of this uh, rod. We're definitely gonna tack it there and up on this other plate just to get started. And uh, we'll go from there. So we kind of got it in, we're playing with it. Obviously, we're still not done because we still gotta figure out where everything wants to be. Um, I don't know really how to determine this other than to just kind of play with it. Um, I could be wrong, but I think that the bumper slides under these little brackets here, uh, which I initially thought were to hold the headlights. I could be wrong on that still, but um, that's going to require some further investigation and research. I think that's going to do it for this video. Obviously there's a lot of work and this is well been long overdue since you know we worked on the hatch we're almost there kind of like we still need a starter electrical fuel uh, we gotta get some less power we got throw the harnesses on it we got both the charge harness and the engine harness to put in uh, we gotta do some work to the charge harness to obviously get it to the battery um, and we, I've got some stuff I gotta do with that so um, that's probably going to do it for this video. I'm going to play around with this a little bit more off camera. See if we can figure out what's going on and come up with a better game plan. Now that the major structure is done, we still need to reinforce it. And we still need to come up with a mount for the intercooler. So, with that being said, thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned. Junk will be back soon. Later.